Hi, I'm Joseph Patrick, co-founder of Lamont Brothers. And in today's video, we wanna answer the question, can I put a hot pot directly on quartz? Or how heat resistant really is engineered quartz? When engineered quartz first came to the market, it was advertised as this is a very heat resistant countertop. You can put a hot pot directly on it and it's gonna be essentially impervious to heat. We've spent over a decade remodeling kitchens here in the Portland area. But over the years, we've seen several quartz countertops crack as a result of heat. Personally, with one of our projects, I've seen a pancake griddle crack quartz. We've heard of an Instapots other pots. But essentially when a quartz countertop is regularly exposed to heat, specifically over 300 degrees, it not only voids the warranty, but can crack. And this is not a high percentage of quartz installs that we do. It's a very small percentage, like about 1%. But that's enough to have countertop manufacturers not warranty quartz countertops if they're exposed to high degrees of heat. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use this piece of quartz right here. We're gonna see if we can get it to crack and test this theory and you'll get to come along with us and check it out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my pot that I have back here that I've been heating up for quite some time and I'm just gonna put it on the countertop and let it heat up for a little bit and we're gonna see what ends up happening. Now, the quartz is gonna typically crack when it's been exposed to heat for a long period of time, regularly. And what it is, is the heat up, cool down cycles. So that's what we're gonna try to do, except we're gonna try to accelerate it for this video. So I'm gonna let the hot pot sit here on the quartz countertop for a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna put ice cubes on it to try to cool it down and accelerate the heat cool process in your kitchen. You know, you're not gonna accelerate it that much, but what you might do is every week or every day, you might use that pancake griddle, or you might use that Instapot, or you might set a hot pot directly on the quartz, and that could end up over time causing the quartz to weaken and eventually fracture. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the pot, put it back on the stove, and then introduce some ice uh, onto the, countertop surface to try to accelerate the cool down process, see what can happen and see if we can get it to crack. All right, so we have cycled our hot pot and ice about five or six times on this piece of countertop. I know from personal experience, the quartz countertops can survive quite a few hot pots getting put on them without immediately cracking. But what we wanna do is we wanna stress test this countertop. And so we've gotta increase the temperature that we're exposing it to. So I'm gonna take this countertop and put it directly on the range to see if we can increase the temperature to about four or 500 degrees directly onto the countertop and see if we can get it to crack. I don't think we're gonna get this to crack. We did one cycle of 10 minutes, then turned the burners off, put some ice on top of it to cool it down, then another cycle of about seven minutes and it finally cracked. We accomplished it, we made the countertop crack. That is exactly what we have seen happen in our clients' kitchens over a long period of time. So a year of repeatedly heating the countertop and cooling the countertop at a much less severe temperature with a pancake griddle, but over a longer period of time. And remarkably, the crack looks pretty similar. It's kind of a snaking crack and when the countertop cools, it basically goes down to just a hairline crack, but when the countertop heats up, it'll open up to be an eighth or a quarter inch wide at the edge. So as you think about your different kitchen appliances and putting them directly on your quartz countertops, realize that this is a very uncommon situation to have a countertop actually crack. Lots of people put hot pots on quartz countertops, 
and lots of people use pancake griddles and crock pots on their quartz countertops. So it's a very low probability event that it actually cracks, but it does happen, especially with repeated use. When you're looking at your kitchen appliances, the ones that are most at risk to damage the countertop have exposed heating elements. Let me show you what I mean. This one here has an aluminum heat shield that goes around the heating element and covers it and is screwed in with these four screws. The aluminum is a heat shield and distributes the heat out and absorbs some of the heat before it reaches the countertop. That also has pretty tall legs and so it keeps the heating element away from the countertop. You can see here, the, that's the start of the heating element and it just looks like a, you know, like a snake that snakes around like this to evenly heat up the surface. And that is the danger. So if this heat shield was not here, you'd see that heat element snake around here and that directly exposed, you know, a half inch off your countertop is what's gonna heat your countertop up and over the long term, crack it. It typically takes a long period of time to crack it, especially with a method like this. The one kitchen remodel we had, crack, ended up being about a year after we finished the remodel. The family regularly used a pancake griddle, similar to this one, on that spot. It had an exposed heating element and it took a year of every week heating it up for about an hour or so to cook their pancakes for the countertop to finally crack. So let's recap. What can you do to protect your engineered quartz countertops in your kitchen? Bottom line, don't repeatedly subject them to significant heat over a long period of time. What you wanna do is with crock pots, instapots, pancake griddles, anything without a heat shield below the heating element or a hot pot directly off the stove, what you wanna do is put a trivet, put a cutting board, put something underneath it so that that will distribute the heat and won't directly transfer the heat to the quartz countertop. We regularly do tests on different products that we install in our remodels and in our clients' homes. So please, check out the rest of our YouTube channel for tests on laminate flooring or cabinets or other products.